guys, welcome back to Bernstein's Math Club. Today's topic is how to divide rational numbers. So, what is a rational number? A rational number is a number that can be turned into a fraction. And today, I'm going to teach you how to divide them. So, when you divide two integers with the same signs, you will result in a positive quotient. So, for example, if you if you divide two um, integers with the same signs, so if you divide a positive divided by a positive, you will get a positive quotient. And if you divide a negative by a negative, you'll also get a positive quotient. Now, if you divide two integers with different signs, you will result in a negative quotient. So if you divide a positive by a negative, you're going to get a negative quotient. And if you divide a negative by a positive, you're going to get a negative quotient as well. Okay, now let's get into some problems. So now, <clears throat> we have 15 divided by 3. So we know that 15 is a positive number and 3 is a positive number as well. So now let's divide them in fraction form. So 15 over 3, and I'm going to put the positive signs. So we know that 15 is a positive 15 and 3 is a positive 3. Now, remember when you divide um, two uh, integers with the same signs, you're going to get a positive quotient. So if I'm dividing a positive by a positive, I'll get a positive quotient. So I'm going to put a positive sign here. Now 15 divided by 3 is going to give us 5. So our quotient is positive 5. Okay. Now let's do another problem. So now we have negative 27 divided by a negative 9. Okay, so now we're dividing a negative by a negative. So le let's put this in fraction form and divide. So negative 27 over negative 9. So we have a negative divided by a negative. Remember, when you're dividing two um, integers with the same signs, you're going to get a, neg uh, a positive quotient. So I'm going to put a positive sign over here. Now when you divide 27 by 9, you get 3. So our quotient is positive 3. Now let's do another problem. So now we have 48 divided by negative 8. So now we're dividing a positive by a negative. Now let's put this in fraction form and divide. So 48 <coughs> over negative 8. So 48 is actually positive 48. Remember, whenever you see a number without a, po a sign in front of it, it's always going to be a positive uh, number. So it's going to have a positive sign. So now we're dividing um, uh, two integers with different signs. So when you do that, you'll get a negative quotient. So I'm going to go ahead and put a negative sign here because my, I know my quotient is going to be a negative number. So 48 divided by 8 gives us 6. So our quotient is negative 6. Okay, now let's do another problem. So now we have negative 63 divided by 7. So now we're dividing a negative by a positive. So let's put this in fraction form and divide. So we have negative 63 divided by positive 7. Okay? Now, remember, when you're, whenever you do, are dividing two numbers with different signs, two integers with different signs, you're going to get a negative quotient. So I'm going to put a negative sign here. And so 63 divided by 7 gives us 9, which, uh, which is, uh, so our, our quotient is negative 9. Now let's do another problem. So now we have 3 over 8 divided by negative 1 over 7. Okay, so now we're dividing fractions. Now whenever you divide fractions, you're going to use this method called keep change flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction as it is. So we're going to keep 3 over 8 as 3 over 8. We're going to change the division sign into a multiplication sign. So now we're going to multiply and we're going to flip the second fraction um, around. So negative 1 over 7 will become negative 7 over 1. 
Now we're going to multiply. 3 times 7 gives us 21. And 8 times 1 gives us 8. And we bring the negative sign over because remember, when you multiply uh, two um, integers with different signs, uh, you're going to get a negative product. So negative 21 over 8 is our answer. Okay. So this is how you divide rational numbers. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.